Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabe with the Hunter Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Uh, if you're new to the channel, like hearing about with the Baltimore Ravens, NFL talk, football talk, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe as well. Ravens content coming at you pretty much on a daily basis. All right. Now, Steve Young is the latest person to get the Ravens fan base kind of fired up about what he said about the organization, Greg Roman's offense, and Lamar Jackson in general. So. I got the clip in here, and uh, let's go listen to what Steve Young had to say. Steve, what do you think? Robert, you set me up perfectly because the Baltimore Ravens have doubled down again on being the most un being the most sophisticated running game in football, and they have been mowing through regular season opponents for a long time with this most sophisticated running game. My position is they will never get to championship football without a sophisticated passing game. That's not anything to do with Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is a complete player that is being not trained in being a sophisticated passer. They double down again back to all the great things that Lamar does, great. But until he gets the chance to show that he is a sophisticated passer of the football in a sophisticated passing game that is properly you know, invested in, which we never have, which they never have done to Robert's point just a minute ago. They don't invest in it. They don't teach it. And now you ask them, why isn't he getting paid to be Patrick Mahomes? Because they haven't given him a chance to be Patrick Mahomes. All right. Steve Young said a lot right there. Right. So let's get into it. I think that he's partially right. I, I Honestly, I do. Now, the partially right part is that obviously the Ravens don't have the most sophisticated passing offense. They have doubled down on the running game and things like that. Now, the part I would say that it's not all the way there is that he's not being trained as a passer. I think last year's offense was the best passing offense under Lamar Jackson and the best pass offense the Ravens have had since uh, Gary Kubiak was the OC in that year with Joe Flacco. Now, what Steve Young is also right is the fact that the Ravens haven't invested enough at wide receiver to really say that um, we're giving Lamar Jackson a fair shake. Now, the organization has changed a lot. Under Ozzy, they didn't really draft wide receivers that high. You know, you had your Travis Taylor, you had your Bashar Perrymans, um, and things like that. But outside of that, they really didn't try. It was more about get a veteran in there and we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, under Eric DeCosta, things has changed. You know, they've they've gone more high draft picks. You know, even though they just let uh not let Hollywood go, but traded Hollywood, um, they've invested more in a position. Uh, still, when it came time to pay Hollywood, when Hollywood was saying that he didn't feel like a valued member of this offense. They said, okay, we'll, we'll let you leave. Um, that right there kind of points to what Steve Young is talking about, right? Uh, Steve Young is not the first person, and he probably won't be the last person to criticize this offense. Um, you know, there's uh, Des Bryant, Willie Sneed, um, who else? You know, Kurt Warner, Steve Smith. So it's been a long list of guys that criticize this offense. Now, Greg Roman is obviously the guy to target, but we also have to look at John Harbaugh. Outside of Jim Caldwell, outside of Gary Kubiak, the OCs that he's picked, that he's hired, haven't worked out and haven't been that good. Now, Greg Roman is the architect of the Ravens' best offense that they've had in franchise history. Can't take that away from him. But at the same time, this offense, it needed help. So now they had to go out and get guys like T. Martin and Keith Williams to come in, be pass game coordinators, be new wide receivers coaches to try to help build the offense along. Now, if that's the case, how much credit is that to Greg Roman? How much credit is that to those guys? I don't know how that really goes. But the simple fact of that Steve Young has a point, man. Lamar Jackson could feel like he's not being utilized to his full potential. He goes on to say in that same clip that, you know, I didn't want to put the whole you know, two minutes in there. That basically the fact that the Ravens have um, a guy on their hands who could be the greatest player ever. He said that Lamar Jackson could be the greatest player in football history if used properly and used to his fullest potential. They're saying they're not, they're not getting the maximum out of Lamar Jackson. And that if the Ravens aren't going to do it, go somewhere else that will. Now, that's that's a huge comment right there, right? And who knows? I mean, we don't know how Lamar Jackson is thinking and things like that. But the fact of the matter is, it's a lot of people that say these things, right? Now, the Ravens have had a good offense. They've had a successful offense. I think that what the problem with most fans, uh, fans have is that the fact that the Ravens, I don't feel like, have doubled down on Lamar Jackson. This offense that they're running is not for Lamar Jackson. It's for Greg Roman. Greg Roman ran the same office in Buffalo, ran the same office in San Francisco. You can't tell me that Colin Kaepernick, Lamar Jackson, and Tyrod Taylor are all the same quarterback. No. You're stereotyping them as quote-unquote running quarterbacks, so you think they're all the same. But that's, that's not the truth, right? 
Lamar Jackson is further ahead as a passer than both of those guys, being completely honest. Um, when Lamar Jackson was in college, he ran a pro-style offense. He was under Bobby Petrino's tutelage. Bobby Petrino is not running what the Ravens are running now. Uh, now, Bobby Petrino did do certain things to help Lamar Jackson out, like, you know, adding the read option because he knew he had a dynamic athlete at quarterback. And that was a way to him to use both sides of his game, right? But at the end of the day, what Lamar Jackson was doing in Louisville was a lot of pro concepts. Now, when he got to the NFL, the Ravens helped him out. They knew Lamar Jackson was great at throwing the ball down the middle of the field. So you so you, you do that. You play to his strength, Mark Andrews and things like that, right? Once he has the MVP year and he shows that he can hit all areas of the field, now it's time to really go out and show and prove and invest in that passing game. And I think most Ravens fans feel like that just didn't happen. And um, are the Ravens holding Lamar Jackson back? It's hard to say just because, right, he did win the MVP. Um, he has been a top, top quarterback. But is that, you know, just due to his extreme talent level or is that partly due to the system? Our lean is more towards Lamar Jackson's extreme talent level because, like I said, uh, he played in a different style offense in college. Lamar Jackson can play in any system. So I'm not going to say he's this guy who needs this Greg Roman system to execute at a high level. I don't believe that. But I will say that, you know, the Ravens have a winning philosophy. And this is what they believe they have to do to win. The unfortunate thing is that when you have a quarterback as talented as Lamar Jackson, who is a franchise QB, it's time. Sometimes, you know, it's good for change. It's time for uh, you can't always do the same thing. Now, the Ravens have evolved slightly under the cost, though, like I said. You know, they've drafted wide receivers higher than usual. They've put more emphasis on trying to get young players in the building. Uh, but they haven't gone out and gotten like us to find this. Now, the rumor was before they tried to get DeAndre Hopkins, they were close, and it, but, you know, no cigar. But you don't you don't get rewards for being close. You got to get the guy, right? And the Ravens haven't necessarily done that. Um as far as Lamar Jackson and, and him leaving and things like that, I don't really see that as a possibility even next year. You know, we talk about it. If they don't sign him, they can franchise him twice, go to Kirk Cousins around, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we want to see Lamar Jackson get paid. And so, you know, I'm not putting out there that that's what they should do as far as franchise tag. Just pay him outright. That's what I want to see. Uh, but the point is, Steve Young is not the late, is not the last guy to say this. I mean, he's the latest guy to say this, but he's not the only guy to say this. The Ravens as an organization have to look and say, yes, this is how we did things for a long time. We built on great defense, running the ball, and that's how we won. And that's true. There's some truth to that. But at the end of the day, the NFL is constantly evolving. Like, I'm not here to bash the wide the current Ravens currently have. Like, I like Roche. I like DuVernay. Um, I would like those guys more better. I like those guys better, excuse me, if they were third guys, you know. I think Roche could be a solid number two. But I would feel great if he was number three. And I think that's the thing. Look, Bateman, one, fine. Just get somebody else at two, I'd be ecstatic. Then then Proche and, and, and Duke can interchange in that three spot. That's beautiful. That's a to me, that's a really good offense. All right. Now we could say that the Ravens don't go to the wide receiver and things like that, but that's part of the issue. You have to be able to attack all areas of the field. You have to. Um, now the, <laughs> you look at Kyle Shanahan, he could, he could put the running game with the pass game, wide receivers, wide receivers get off, George Kittle gets off and they all have a good relationship on the field, right? The offense feels cohesive. I think that's the biggest thing with great women. The offense doesn't always feel cohesive. And, you know, Steve Young says things like he, if he, he hasn't been trained to be a sophisticated passer. Um, and in some instances that's kind of fair. It's kind of fair. You know, it's the, the Ravens running game, I mean, Ravens pass game, excuse me, has been criticized for lack of spacing, receives end up in the same area, uh, play calls not making sense or down in distance. Uh, watching the game, you can see that kind of stuff, right? So if the Ravens are not using Lamar Jackson to his full potential, and that's something else that he mentioned that, you know, go somewhere else and do it. But that shouldn't have to be the case. The Ravens should see a guy, should see Lamar Jackson, to see an MVP and say, what can we do to help? Now, they started that process. They got him the offensive line, right? Now, it's time to just add more weapons. If Isaiah Lackey can be that guy, be another weapon, that's great. Honestly, 
I'm really looking forward to a guy like Isaiah Likely. I think that's a great draft pick. Even though they wanted to take somebody else, they end up falling in, falling in their favor to take a guy like Isaiah Likely. And he could be ended up being the still of the draft. Um, the thing is that it's unknown. And we're betting on a lot of unknowns in Lamar Jackson's last year of his contract. Now, I like it. Like I said, I like the guys that are here. I think they're more than capable of doing their roles when asked to do them. Um, but I think the biggest problem is it don't feel like the Ravens have doubled down on Lamar Jackson. Instead, it feels like they doubled down on Greg Roman and say, hey, look, this is your last chance. Get it right or you're gone. When you could have just got Greg Roman out of there. But then that, that, that arrives to the next problem is... Like we mentioned earlier, what is John Harbaugh's criteria of picking offensive coordinators? It hasn't been great. It hasn't been great. Um, so when when we step back and look at what the Ravens have and what the Ravens could do this year, I don't think the offense is going to slow them down for winning regular season games. Like Steve Young said, they, they, they move through the regular season. We'll see what happens in the playoffs. We'll see. If one of these two guys, a Proche DuVernay, can give the Ravens, you know, four to 700 yards, They'll be okay. They should be able to make some noise in the playoffs and, and do their thing. It's just that we're banking on that if. We're banking on that if. Um, I've done plenty of reports this offseason about how Duvernay's making plays, how Crochet's making plays. So I'm not talking down on them. I actually believe in those guys' talent. But the Ravens, it's almost like they stop and say we have enough when you don't have to have enough. You can get more. All right. Um, so we'll see what the Ravens do from there. Um, but... Steve Young, Bob, good point. I think the main point it is that it's not just about Greg Roman. It's about the offense philosophy of this team dating back to 96. That hasn't really changed up until now. And the Ravens have never had a quarterback like Lamar Jackson to make them change their philosophy. But it might be time to look into that and really invest in that and change it with what we're doing and what we're surrounding Lamar Jackson with. All right. Um... We want him to retire, Raven. We want him to be here for the long haul. And I'm sure all of these kind of things are going into his decision making process. So we'll see what happens, man. But I thought what Steve Young said was interesting. Um, he's the latest guy to criticize Greg Roman and to criticize the Ravens organization. So it is something to talk about. Uh, but, you know, l- l- let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is it is it an overreaction? Is he, did he hit the nail on the head? Or was he just kind of partially right and miss it? Missed some key uh, points in there. Let me know. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.